what we want to write. We gotta make ends meet before we get much older. Was that because of us? I don't know. I mean, it started off super positive, then it just got crazy. I did not like that at all. No, Kev. None of us did. Yeah, it was totally messed up. It's, it's disgusting how people will just, you know, take something good and just take advantage of a situation. Yeah. There was no time to do anything yeah. except just leave and just hope that you're not hurt. <sighs> it's great to have you guys back, by the way. Oh, thank you, man. Feels good to be back. See you on How's it going? This place is weird. Everybody comfortable? Yeah. Get your motherfucking ass up when I'm talking. You will be going undercover as high school students. You are here simply because you look young. You some Justin Bieber, Molly Cyrus looking motherfuckers. Captain Sassy. I know what you're thinking. Angry, black captain. It ain't nothing but a stupid stereotype. Well, guess what, motherfuckers? I'm black, and I work my ass off to be the captain. And sometimes I get angry. So suck a dick. What I'm trying to show you is embrace your stereotypes. Like this guy right here. Handsome, and he's probably a dummy. And then this guy. He's short and insecure. And he's probably good with money. Oh, you are good with money. Fuck. Didn't somebody tell you guys this was an undercover unit? I don't know. I actually didn't. I didn't get a letter or anything. Yeah, like a start the dress time. code or anything yeah. like that. Teenage the fuck up! And to tell it right, I gotta take you back to long before I squeeze this ass into red spandex. Look, would it help if I slow it down for you? I didn't order the pizza. Is this 7348 Red Ledge Drive? Are you Mr. Merchant? Yeah, the Mr. Merchant who didn't order the fucking pie. And who placed the call? I did. Pineapple and olive? Sweet and salty. The fuck are you? The fuck you doing in my crib? Is that burnt crust? Uh, God, I hope not. Um, oh, man, look. This is about that poker game. I told Howie, I told him, I told him about that. 
Uh, look, just uh, take uh, whatever you want. Thanks. Sir, before you do anything to him, would you mind if I get a, a big tip? <laughs> it's J Jeremy, is it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wade Wilson. That uh, is, is a no-go on the tip of Rougier. I'm not here for him. I'm here for you. Oh. Okay, wow, I dodged a big time bullet on that one. Not out of the woods yet. You need to seriously ease up on the bedazzling. They're jeans, not a chandelier. Yes, I'm keeping your wallet. You did kind of give it to me. Okay, just look, man, can I have my Sam's card? I will shoot your fucking cat. I, I don't really know what that means. I don't have a cat. Then whose kitty litter did I just shit in? Anywho, tell me something. What uh, situation isn't improved by pizza? Do you happen to know a, a Megan Orflowski? Getting that right? Orflowski? Or, 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 Orlovsky? Yeah. Good. Because she knows you. Jeremy, I belong to a group of guys who take a dime to beat a fella down. And little Megan, she's not made of money, but lucky for her, I got a soft spot. I'm uh... a stalker. Threats hurt, Jer, though not nearly as badly as serrated steel. So keep away from Megan. Cool? Yes, yes, sir. Hey, we're done. Wait, we are? No, we're totally done. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen your face. I don't know what to do. No. I'm so scared. <laughs> Soft spot, remember? Leave the book in her general direction again, and you will learn in the worst of ways that I have some hard spots, too. That came out wrong. And we are so proud of you both. Thank you. Incredible. Okay. So I made my quota. Yeah, we sold a shit ton of copters. That's so good. Yeah. Look, I, I'm not great at this Hallmark stuff, but uh, Brennan, when I look at you now, I, I don't want to kick you in the head quite as much. Thanks, man. That was beautiful. That was nice. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what do we do now? We could hug. Yeah, you'd like that, faggot. I'm sorry. I'm... Okay. Like that before, oh, so I think you can't expect it. It, it, it was perfect. Good, it was good. Yeah. Okay, Private Miller. You've been smoking item nine for seven minutes and 13 seconds. We're going to ask you several questions. How do you feel? Uh, well, sir, uh, I feel like a, like a slice of butter melting on top of a big old pile of. Flapjacks. Yeah. Okay, Private Miller. When you think of your superiors, what emotions do you feel? Okay, Private Miller. Is this normal? Okay, Private Miller. Okay, Private Miller. Private Miller. Answer the question. This one out, sir. Can, uh, can you torch me? <laughs> we'll send someone in. Holy bejesus. Private Miller. Answer the question. What was the question again, sir? When you think of your superiors, what emotions do you feel? You know, you know what problem I have with your fucking little dog and pony act you call the military? Here it is. One, lots of dudes. Where are the boobies? Two, why are we underground right now, sir? Why can't we be out in the open? Why aren't we in a square right now? Why aren't we talking to people, letting them know item nine exists? Get it out, shout at the rooftops. This is 
Great. This is the bee's knees, item nine. Private, we need you to be serious. I'm serious. Your dick, my mouth. That's inappropriate. Uh, 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 uh. Fuck you. I've seen enough. Shut it down. Bury the hatch. Sell the land. And dispose of him. This never happened. Dude, what happened to your eye? Hey, hello. Bleep, blurp, bleep, bleep, blurp, blurp. Can you guys understand me? Hey, hey, where are we going? This is General oh, Brad. We've reached a final conclusion on item nine. 